together. Right, I'm going to be a bit brutal with this Zoom call because I feel that I need to be a bit brutal with it without being disrespectful. Um, I've noticed that we've all slowed down. I'm not going to say that I haven't because I have. I have noticed that we have all slowed down. I am starting to think that maybe it might be a case of the three-step process. It works for some, it doesn't work for others. Some people are a lot more confident than other people, so that therefore, you know, they've got their following already. So where they've got their following already, they can literally just blind inbox, not a problem. But for those that have not, when you're just blind inboxing, you're spamming which in the UK is a bit of an issue. You know, what will happen is, is we're going to end up burning through our network. Um, even though I call it our network, obviously on everyone on your Facebook, you have you may not have networked with before. So because of that, we've, we've got to start building up relationships before we actually hit that inbox. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about that tonight. What I would like as well, if you guys have got anything that you need as well from me, can you please put it in the chat? Put it in the chat now, so that therefore I can make sure I cover the lot. And it doesn't matter what it is, it doesn't matter if we've covered it before, let's get it covered. So I'll stop for a second whilst you put what you need to put in the chat, guys. Tell you what, I'll start with yours, Georgina. Okay, I'm going to take you off me, all right, so that we can talk because I, what you've just put in there is very, very valid, and I like the fact that you put that in there as well. You put in there Facebook is stopping me from messaging people until tomorrow. I need to do lives to build my following and connect better with people. Lives is a really good way of connecting with people. Uh, not only that, it's your Facebook story. Now, what I would suggest to you, Georgia, whilst you're in a position whereby you cannot message anybody uh, via private inbox, you just do it on their wall. Yeah. Just hit it on their uh. wall. So that therefore, while you're not able to speak like that, then therefore you can start building the relationship on the wall, get yourself right. known. Okay, because so I've been... I've been following the three-step system. Like I do a ATM and MAT message tag ads, and then add tag a message. Okay. But I've literally been messaging like 150 people a day for the last because I've got the P2S travel thing, and then I've got my wealth boss thing, and then I've got something else. I'm please like, don't, oh, please don't, please do not talk about anything I'm else. Not allowed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, 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 sorry. Right, I've got a few different things going on, so I will delete, like, message 50 people for these, 50 people for that, 50 people for that. So, I think Facebook are starting to get a bit clever with me, and they're like, now saying, right, no, you can't message anyone. Okay. All right, there, there is a trick to it with the messaging, okay? This is what will be happening with you. You're typing far too fast. Because you're like this, it's thinking I'm copying and pasting the message. Even well. worse, even worse, right? Because what's happening is, is Facebook thinks you're a computer. Because it thinks you're a computer, it's shutting you down. So right. the trick to it is this, right? If you're going to copy and paste, and I copy and paste at times, but what I do is I change some of the words in the copy and paste. So uh. therefore, it's not exactly the same as what I've sent before. So say, for instance, yeah. I'm copying and pasting something, instead of saying, hi, I'll, I'll put their name in. I'll take that little bit out. You just need to tweak it a little tiny bit and then that will stop you from getting blocked. But okay. also on top of this, on top of that, should I say, what you need to do is that the way that the Facebook Messenger works, if you blast it hard for more than 15 minutes, it's going to think that you're a bot. So what you need to do is just literally slow down a little bit on your messaging. So instead of going like that, yeah, yeah. do a little bit slower. If you're copying, pasting you make sure you change something on that right their name there yeah, that's a good idea correct but, yeah so what you need to do is make sure that when you are networking every 14 minutes you come off your messenger right so that therefore it doesn't look like you're just sitting there boom 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 boom, 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 boom. yeah okay <coughs> that's, that's what's a called, good tip 
So that's okay. That's not a problem. But that's what's causing that to happen for you, okay? Right. Brilliant. Has anybody okay. else got any issues at all that's going on that they want me to, to touch base on right now? You all must be superstars then. That's absolutely great. Right, I'll get on what I want to get on with. Okay, right. So you've heard me talking about my story. And you guys are obviously seeing what I'm doing. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly go on my Facebook. And I'm going to show you where to get on my story as well. If you're using your desktop, obviously, <coughs> if you're using your um, phone, the quickest way for you to get on my story is to go into your messenger. And at the top is my story. Now, what I would suggest that you do, obviously, we've got our list. Now these are my lists, okay, of 200 people, I know, you, I know you guys can't see it all, but that's my list of 200 people that I am actually starting to work with. I have literally pulled down my hole on my Facebook, I haven't communicated with a lot of these people, I'm actually removing people off my Facebook as I go through it, but what I would recommend that you do before you start doing anything in respect of this list, the first thing you do in the morning, obviously everybody does their posts, they have a little scoot around and they have a look at everybody else just to see, you know, what's going on, the likes and that. It is very, very important that you make your presence known on Facebook. And when you make your presence known on Facebook and your comments on Facebook, give value. Don't just put something like, oh, I like that. Say why you like it and thank that person for sharing it. The reason why you need to start speaking like that is that people will be attracted to you if you are giving value. If you're just giving your opinion and there's no value in it, there's no need for them to look at you because they've seen your opinion. But if you're giving value, they will want to have a look at your Facebook to see who you are. So always give value. Will you be covering the change with Facebook? If you can fit it in, I can briefly explain what's going on with the stories and news feeds. Paula, can you unmute yourself, please, darling? Hello, hello. Hello, darling. When you're saying what's going on with the changes in yeah. Facebook, quickly, before I get going, because in case I, I, I say something wrong that I'm not aware of what you've noticed. Okay, so what Facebook is basically doing, and a lot of social media are trying to implement things like this, because of the issues that pe that people have of bullying and um, grooming and things like that, what they're trying to do is make it into micro stories on Facebook and other social media, Instagram, I think. So stories are going to be the main part of Facebook eventually. Mm -hmm. The news feed and what you're scrolling through day in, day out, that's going to be really, really reduced. What they're going to be showing is lives. They're only going to be doing things, allowing you to show statuses and things like that for 24 hours. The emphasis is going to be on groups and safe havens and communities. So um, basically what they want is for people to be uh, engaging with others that they're interested in and that have got things... Are you going to talk about... Um, that you've got things in common with and that you're connecting with people that you um, have have the same common ground which is exactly what we should be doing anyway but what they're actually focusing on is then when you've made that connection looking at groups that you can then join together so that you've got like a community feel because they don't want ongoing a potential bullying and all the things that you see. You hear it all the time and you read about it all the time, all the things that... Stop being subjected to it! What are you on about? <laughs> well, I know. Um, but they, they're trying to move away from that to keep people safe. And it's called, it's called micro something. They're trying to micromanage, basically, all the content that you see, which um, I don't think will have that much of an effect on us because if we're building up those connections in the way that we should be, then we're already using those tools like stories, like groups, like uh, pages aren't going to be massively um, 
business pages help yes they do however what i would say and i've been told off um good knowledge that pages don't spend too much time on your pages just because there are resources that are gonna it's gonna drop off groups are going to be the main emphasis i've got a link that i can share with you that's not part of another company it's just a generic link of some of the changes that they're going to be introducing so we need to think around that as well well what we can do is monitor the, is just get the link we could just literally copy the information on it and get it on the paid group so therefore it's open. okay yeah i'll do that yeah so groups are better than pages uh, the way that they're looking at changing things they will be but we've got the wholesale group that's our community base and that is where we should be focusing our energies when we're looking at um which we're already doing and this is why i don't want you to worry too much but just be aware that stories are going to be the most powerful part of facebook because it's going to give you information for 24 hours and it's not going to be there after that so that's why your stories should be the most effective way of getting our information across um but when you start talking about groups, wholesale group all the way, that's the best group that we've got and it's the one that's going to work for us. Yeah, I can more to it than that, but I can, we can do that another time. That's the basics. Okay, no, no, I actually totally agree with you. I mean, one of the things that I've noticed with my stories is how powerful they really, really are. And I've also noticed that for me personally, I feel I get an awful lot more traction on my story. So what I'm going to do, why don't I just flip to my story right now? Because this is the conversation we're having. Paula, I really, really appreciate your input because yeah, no problem. you're sitting the same as what I'm, I'm thinking because I'm looking at it and I'm like, right, I know that that works. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to share screens. I'm going to go on my Facebook now. I'm going to show you how to find my story because I, I appreciate and I respect the fact that an awful lot of us at the moment, we don't just use our phones, we use computers as well. I don't mind admitting, and Nicola can confirm this, literally was on the phone to her earlier, I can't find my story on the computer. I always do it on my phone. I had to physically Google it. Okay, so if there's anything you can't find, for the love of God, just Google it, okay? All right? Because don't sit there and go, well, I can't do it. Google it, or if not, ask one of us. And if we can't do it, we'll Google it, okay? We will make sure we can find what we need to find. Okay, so I'm gonna share screens and I'm gonna go into this. Now, the beautiful thing about it is, is with um, my story, you can see who has um, looked at it and what's going on. Oh, there, one second. Right, okay. You can tell who I was just talking to you, can't you? Right. Um, so what you need to do in order to get my story up is you need to press home on the uh, Facebook page. Sorry, it's just going really, really slow because we're on Zoom. I think it might actually be my internet connection, so I do apologise, guys. Right, that's taken a little bit of time to load up. Okay, so I'm just going to press S5 on my computer and see if I can get this to load quicker. Right, there you go, bingo. Okay, right, if you guys can see, can you see in the top right hand corner here, it says your story. Paula, can you come off mute so I've got someone to talk to while I can't see you all? It's still loading, Sam, for me. Okay, all right. One second. No, no, I'll wait until you guys can all see it. All so no oh, right, no, we can see your story, yeah. We can see your story, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Right, go so you've it. got your story, and it's at the top right-hand corner. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on it. Now, I have had my story up for 14 hours. What I would recommend that you do in the morning when you're doing your little scout round and you're having a look at, you know, people's pages, or what should I say, their profiles, you do go down your newsfeed, the quickest way for you to actually interact with anyone is to literally go into your messenger and then literally go across the stories and then comment and, and like 
put little comments on it because what you're able to do, and I'll show you in a second once it goes, it goes through this, right? So here is my story. Can you guys see in the bottom left hand corner, right here where the arrow is, I've had 88 people look at it. I am so sorry that this is so slow. It's all right. This is the joys of living in the back of beyond, it really is. <laughs> okay, right, so I've got 88 people that have looked at this. What I can do is I can click down here, and then what that will do is that will bring me up every single person that's looked at it. Now, if you see here, the blue mark, they're actually online right now. So I, I know that all these people are online right now. So say, for instance, Kimberly Davis. So I'm just going to click on here. What that's actually going to do is that's going to bring her Facebook profile up for me on desktop. However, if I do that on my phone, what that enables me to do is actually go straight into message. So I'm just going to quickly have a look at this to see who she is before I start looking, okay? So she's followed by 221 people. I've got 17 mutual friends with her. The chances are she is going to be a networker because we've got mutual friends. I'm looking down on her posts here. She's got some funny things on here. And my funeral sit me up. I want to see who's consoling my man. You know, some, some little fun here. So I, I've never liked anything with that at all. Okay, but what I can do, because I know that she's actually following me. She's having a little look at what I'm up to. I'll come into Messenger. You can see, as it stands at the moment, there's not really any chit-chat between um, what we're going on. Um, last time I spoke to her was January the 12th, 2018. <coughs> so you can see that there's been no chat between us. Yeah. So literally all I'm going to do is just very, very simply, like, so you can see, actually, I've actually sent her a message. She's, not, she's seen it on the 12th of Jan. Yeah, so I'm just going to put like, hey, Kim, Billy, um, thank you for looking at my story today. I can spell. And then you just put, did you like it, yeah? Now, the reason why I've gone on it like that, I'm just going to stop sharing so I can see your faces, okay? The reason why I've gone it like that is because it's not one of my ones that I have put for the, the travel. If it's one that I put for the travel, I'm not kidding you, I will literally go in there, hi, hope you're good, notice you like my story. Do you, I, I, do you like to travel? Is that why you click, clicked on it? That is how harsh I'll go straight on it. Because if they're looking at it and it's travel based, I know that instantly I can blind inbox on that. So what I would suggest to anybody is that the situation for you guys is blind inbox on my story. But don't blind inbox unless you know someone on your list. And the reason for it is, is that you don't know on your list whether or not they've looked at anything to do with your Facebook. You don't know whether or not you know, they're following you, anything that's going on. But you know that when you're dealing with my story, especially if you've got the uh, tra anything to do with the travel, you know, the reductions that we're offering on the hotels uh, or the dream vacations, you know that they've had a little click because they're interested. They wouldn't have clicked on it otherwise. So because of that, you know you can go blind in on that. When I'm looking at, say, for instance... Um, Right, okay, so I've got my list here. I'm going to go back to sharing, all right? But before I go back to sharing, does that actually make sense, what I'm saying, to use my story when you put a travel post up to go blind inbox? What if they uh, add you as a friend? Yeah, what if they add you as a friend? Say they've friend requested you and you don't know them, but they've added you as a friend. Would you then... No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't puke straight in their inbox. Yeah. No, I wouldn't, because that's what it's called. It's called puking in their inbox. No, Do you know what? I've been asking people um, for the minute. Um, 
Hi, how are you? Thanks for adding me as a friend. Um, may I ask you what it is you want most out of life? I've been using that as an opener, like a question. And then you, are, you get quite good answers from that. And I find if you can find out from them what it is they want most, then you know what they want and what they need. And then you can sort of help them in a better way. It's easier to make a connection with someone. That's um, great. That's great, but also what you can do, okay, whenever you get anybody that comes new onto your Facebook, the first thing that I always do is I have a good look at their Facebook. I don't just message them back. I have a good look at their Facebook, so I want to see who they are, I want to see if there's any common interest. Like, so say for instance, I had someone that messaged me, um, or they Facebook requested me, and they've got a dog. The first thing that I would be like, do you know what, really appreciate the fact that you've sent me a Facebook request. I see that we've got a common interest, you know, I see that you've got a dog, I've got a dog called Tilly, she's a Frenchie, what's your dog called? Yeah. I've brilliant. got them talking about what interests them straight away, straight rather away. than using something generic. Yeah. Yeah, that's right, that's a clever way, yeah, that's a better way, so, yeah. You take Amazing. away being generic, we're not generic people, we're special people, yeah? yeah? We come here to help create something special in other people's lives. We're not average people, so why be average? Yeah, you're right. You need to make that separate connection with each person, that individual connection yeah. with them. Yeah. 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 Not and what you want to do is the way you connect to them is you want to connect with something that they are happy to speak about because the minute they feel comfortable speaking about something like that, you're starting to gain trust because yeah. that's what this is all about. We need to get gain people's trust. Yeah. So that's how you do it. But what I'd also say to you as well, don't just accept everybody on your Facebook. Make sure you go through their profile before you accept them. Because yeah, the thing I'll about it is, right. well, you don't want to be wasting your time, do you? No, we've, no. we've only got so many hours in a the day. There's people on here that have got full-time jobs. Yeah. <laughs> so because of that, just make sure you're not just wasting your time. It's like, I'm not being funny, but I've got nearly 5,000 people on my Facebook. I'd hate to think how many of them wear a uniform or in America. I know that I say this and I know that everybody always has a good giggle about it. But unfortunately, I did work in a network three years ago and they said accept everyone. So I blindly did. Right. And now yeah. I'm now going through the whole of my Facebook and I'm removing people. And this is another thing that I'll say to you as well. When you're going through your Facebook list, have a look down their profile. See the last time they actually posted on Facebook. If it's over a year old, get rid of them off your Facebook. Make, I've make got group. four and a half thousand friends now. I've got I don't know where Can to I start. add something to that, Sam? Don't be scared of getting rid of someone on your Facebook because what you want on your Facebook is people that are going to engage. And if you've got 4,999 people that are never going to like your post, it's a waste of a Facebook account. Yeah. So if you've got people that you don't engage with, that, ne that are never on there, that you just have nothing in common it with, just get rid. Yeah. Yeah. Get rid. It, yeah. You're not going to get anywhere and your content isn't going to be seen by the right people. Thank so you. For don't that. ever be scared of it. I've, I'm going to be honest with you, right? So I've got a list here that I'm, I'm going through. And just on one page alone, so on this page it goes from 11 to 27. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 people that I've removed off my Facebook. Because it's pointless having it on there. Yeah, you're that, that right. They're not on yeah. Facebook, they're not engaging with anyone. So why do I want to send a message to them? which therefore then changes the algorithm on my Facebook and it's showing someone that's a dead spot that's never going to interact with me. Yeah, you're I'm right. cleaning my Facebook up as I am going along. Right, so anyone you come across on your friends, if they're not interacting, you message them, if they ignore you, just get rid. You, you, what you do, remember, right, is right. a four, four message rule. Right. It's the same as... The met that how it goes, you know, that if you approach someone, you know, would you like to have a look at my business? They ignore you. Would you like to have yeah. a look at my business? I mean, I know we're not saying it's bluntly as that. I'm just saying it quite yeah. bluntly just to, you know, get through time on this. But it's four messages. If they don't respond in four, get shot. Right. Get, get okay. shot, make space for new people. Because right. there is no point in you banging your head up against a brick wall. And that's what that is. That's banging your head up against a brick wall. And you're making... Your yeah. job more difficult doing this because what you're doing is you're taking away your audience because you're 
You're just literally talking to ghosts. Yeah. You're not yeah. going to make any money out of a ghost at no. all. What we have, though, is hugely valuable. Our membership is like nothing else out there. And if we're not getting it out to enough people, we're not being effective marketers. Mm -hmm. So if there's people that are just not open to chatting and you don't know them anywhere, you don't know them from anywhere else, don't, but you don't need them. Because there'll be other people waiting in the wings mm -hmm. that you'll get to know through your net through networking that will want to see what you've got. They will engage with you. So don't waste that valuable space. Do you know what I mean? It's yeah, yeah. It's, I, I just want to realise that. To be fair, because I used to be Sam, like just oh yeah, I'll add you, I'll add you. I've got a list of twenty people that I need to go through that have requested me today, and I'm going to go through them because I don't want just anyone on my on my friends list. For networking purposes, I want people that are on my wavelength. And yeah. do you know what? Don't be frightened to actually remove people that you went to school with. If you're sending messages to someone and they're just not responding, even if it's someone um, that you've gone to school with, yeah? If they're just there to be nosy, get shot of them. Yeah, they can yeah. watch <laughs> yeah, that's what the telly's for. <laughs> Simple as, yeah. Just yeah. If if you're just there, just be nosy, bit of gossip. Go and watch these senders, yeah. Who's yeah. got time to waste? We haven't. We we've come here because we want to change our lives. We have not come here to be stagnant. No. no. Paula loves that. She's glowing from the inside, as I'm saying <laughs> that, aren't you, darling? <laughs> okay, right. So let's have a look at what I'm actually doing in respect of my list. Okay. I am building up my reverency. I am not just going to blind inbox somebody on my list if I haven't spoke to them for a long, long time. And unless I've worked with them before and they know me and they like to network with me. But if it's someone that I don't particularly know, so what I've done today is I have actually started speaking to somebody so that therefore, I can show you exactly what I mean. So I'm going to share my screen again and go into it, all right? So, okay, I've got a guy called Wayne who's on my list. Now, can you please write this down? Because I really do want you guys to do this. And the reason why I want you to do this is because I want you to succeed within this business. I don't want you to keep bashing your head up against a brick wall and not getting anywhere. You guys are far too important to us to not get this right. And that's why we're gonna start giving you more tips, okay? So Wayne Joseph is on my list for me to contact. So today I know that I need to speak to him. I've gone in my inbox and there's no real communication between him and, him and I. So I've thought to myself, right, what am I gonna do? So this is what I've done, okay? So what I've done here, and I literally code it so, I put their person's name, I put an L if I like it, okay? So if you see here, you can see me liking it. The U is me, in case you're wondering, all right? So then he's then put here, right? What he's put up on here, okay, I think I know where this is going. Allows a looking spam email, what's that? Muppets, yeah? So he's talking about the fact of 1.5 British pounds, you know, what can come through to him on the lottery. Now, today, I, I kid you not, I literally got an email which basically had my uh, password for my Microsoft account. And on this email, it was quite threatening, saying that they'd managed to get hold of this, get hold of that, and they'd used my camera, they'd been watching me, all sorts of stuff. I know it's not true. I don't know how they've got the password that I used, but there was a slight indifference to it. They're telling me that they put malware on my computer which I doubt very much because of the fact my computer is pretty highly loaded. So I don't understand how this has happened, but it has. So I've literally put on here, oh, you want to see the one I got about me, about, about my account being hacked and all my personal pics up. So he's gone, that sounds really bad. Yeah, so I'm now going to put a bit of value to it. Okay. So I'm literally going to say, it may sound bad, but when you are not able to respond back then you know it's spam
Now, can you see me putting the value on it now as I'm actually finishing off what I'm saying? So I have reported it to Microsoft. Can you see the value on there right there? It's only a little tiny bit of value, but in accordance to that conversation, that's what I'm doing. So what I'm going to do, so literally, you know, on my list here, the next person that I got, okay, let's have a quick look here. So I'm going to go to Vanessa Burke, all right? So literally, here we go. I've not spoke to her in absolutely ages. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have a good look around her Facebook before I even actually do anything with it. And the reason for it is, is like what, what I've said before, is I want to make sure, first of all, this person is on Facebook. So let's have a quick look here. Let's work, a friend, Mr. Adams. Have I spoke this wrong? Yeah, I have. Might help if you can spell. Okay, here it is. Okay, so Vanessa Burke, C E N E S S A, add friend. Now, I don't know whether or not, as I've pulled my whole Facebook down, whether or not I've actually lost some of these people off my Facebook because I've noticed that I have. So we'll go for Vanessa Adams, all right? And if it's a case whereby I can't see that person that's on my Facebook, I am then literally going to cross that off my list because I know that I don't need to go. Right, so I've come here, right? We've got four mutual friends that I'm aware of. Let's have a quick little look here. Is she actually on Facebook and doing what needs to be done? Last time she was on Facebook was the 17th of December. That wasn't even her. That's someone else that's added her in on this. So let's go down. When was the last time? Last time she posted was the 4th of October 2018. Do you guys actually feel that that is a viable person for me to start networking with? No. No. So do you know what I'm going to do? Let's have a look. Right, friends. I'm going to run friend her straight away. I'm yeah. saying straight away, yeah. And I'm actually going to put on my little thing here that you know, ah, oh, means removed. Okay, so I actually code what I'm doing. So the next one that I want to have a look at. Have a look. I've got quite a lot of foreign names on the front of this. I do apologise. So we will go to. Right, let's go to Sabrina. Now, this shows, by me doing this right now, what it actually shows is, is it shows that I have got an awful lot of wasted space on my Facebook. And it is pointless me having these people on my Facebook. It really is. Because they're taking up time that can be given to other people in respect of me networking that is taking my time up i don't need people on my facebook that are ghosts so we're coming I to think i need to spend a day going through my whole facebook friends no you don't no you don't no, no you don't if you spend a whole day going through your facebook again you're just going to waste your time aren't you right. and All the right, reason right. why you're going to waste your time is that you're here networking so you write your list out you pull everybody down off your facebook yeah. you write your list down look another one here when was the last time she actually herself posted? She's not. So again, what am I going to do? I can't understand who's talking. My battery nearly died. It's fine. I've plugged the charger in. <laughs> okay. Right. So that's another one that I've just removed. Okay. That therefore means by me removing these pictures, Hey, can you mute yourself because your little one's talking in the background, please, darling? Yeah, so thank you. Sorry. No, it's okay. It's all right. It's not a problem. So, literally, there you go. I know that this might sound a little bit long winded, what you're seeing me do, but there's a reason for it. What I am doing is I am cleaning my Facebook up as I go along to see who's actually interested in networking with me. So, here we go. Here. So, we've got Rachel Jubb, right? She works with families. Fantastic. We've got four mutual friends. Let's have a look, see what she's been up to. When was the last time she had a chat on Facebook?
brilliant. Okay, so right, so 13 hours ago, she's gone fully inclusive. On a scale of one to 10, how acceptable is it to you to do the run in your PJs asking for a friend, all right? Absolutely hilarious. So the first thing I wanna do, yeah, is I wanna do this, all right? Then I then wanna go in here and I wanna comment, okay? Does your friend feed? Oh, so slow, sorry guys. The kids in the car on the way to school whilst wearing there, because I don't know if it's a man or a woman yet. So I have to be a little bit PC with this, which is silly. They're PJs, as if not, it's acceptable. So I'm not put value on that one, but what I'm actually doing is, make, is, is making people look at me and laugh, yeah? And then I'm gonna put on there, well, my friend thinks so, yeah? Because what I'm actually, my friend, what I'm actually doing, I'm trying to make myself known to other people. Now, what you need to do as well, when you are putting anything on anything, make sure you use emojis. The reason why you want to use emojis is that's going to make you stand out more than you just put in a text. Not only would it make you stand out more than you put in a text, what it will do is it will help you build the, um, it will help you beat the algorithms because you're, stake, you're staking out, right? Okay, so uh, you're gonna put some laughing bits there, yeah? Um, and let's have a quick little look. Where are they? Are they in here? And I'm actually gonna put a car on here if I can find the cars. Okay, so I'm going to put a little red car on. Oh, crikey. I'm going to put a little red car on it. And that, yeah. That will do. Come back in the box. Press that, yeah. Then what I'm also going to do, I'm going to have a little scout round to see if there's anything else. That's actually quite funny. Now you can see who she's working with. She might not have it on, but if you know who the leaders are, she's this girl works for FM. Because you can see all, who's all over what she's got. So ha just literally have a little scout round. Anything that really does capture your interest. What I would recommend you do as well is that as you're looking through their profile and you're doing little things, you need to write notes about their profile. So literally, you know, let's have a quick look here. Ten years ago, rag when he footballer. That's not something that I would be interested in talking about. But if there's anything that you can spot that's worth you putting your little message into, okay? So what you want to do is you want to I've literally put it down like this. Put it on a rule like this. So for those that you're not going to message, you make sure that every single day, for the next four days, you go onto their wall, you like, you comment. You need to try and get this person to interact with you on their wall. The more you can get them to interact with you on their wall, which therefore means you can move into their inbox. Once you move into their inbox, you can then just carry on the conversations that you've been having with them on the wall, and then you can then swing it into the travel. Do not go straight into the travel. Because if you go straight into the travel straight away, they're going to take one look at you and they're going to think that you think that they're a number or that you are looking at them with pound signs in your eyes. The last thing you want to do to someone. When anybody makes me feel like a number, it turns me off. I'm not interested because I look at it this way. They just wanted to use the views, but they're not interested in me. If they're interested in me, they're going to be asking me questions about me. They're going to want to get to know me. You know, what I would then do is I would then spend like the next three days chatting with them and then I would then, then bring it round to the travel. I'd warm it up for seven days. Paula, unmute yourself, darling. Yeah. Is that how you work it as well when you're doing reverency? Yeah. 
Nick. And what I do, I find out um, four main sort of areas to talk to about. Uh, so I'll comment um, and I'll do what you've just described, Sam. And when it does come to going into the messenger and, and having a chat that way, there's this four main things I want to know about that person. I want to know about their sort of family and what they what they have as a family. Do they have kids? What What's their dynamic? I want to know what their occupation's all about. Um, and I want to know things about um, what their dreams are and what it is that they're looking for and what their goals are. And I'll have chats about that because I'll tell I'll I'll share with them what mine are. Then once we're having those kind of chats, when you know those basic things about people, they're more open to chatting with you about anything. Yeah. And if you and I show a genuine interest, it's not fake. Because I've already checked out their timelines and I'm already commenting on some of the things that appeal to me, then we appeal to each other because we've already got common ground and that's the most important thing that you can ever find. Yeah. So if you if you if you're scrolling through and, and all their posts are about I, I don't know, stuff that you are not remotely interested in and you've never spoken to them before, don't bother with them because you're not going to have that, you're not going to resonate, nothing that they say will resonate with you. You're not going to have that connection and you're not going to want to build a business with them. So it's, it, it just isn't going to go anywhere. You can't force something that isn't already there. So you've got to have that connection and that's what I'm really strong and big, big time about. I've got to have a connection with the people that I work with. I totally agree. Nicola, darling, can you come up and help me, please? Nikki, there. This is when you catch someone that's just put their picture up and gone to the toilet. You'll come back in a bit. I know Nicola works like this way as well, and that's why I'm asking Nicola to come up. Because one of the things that Nicola is exceptionally good at, she's very exceptionally good at, is building relationships the same as what Paula is. This is why these guys are so successful in this industry. Because they make sure that they build relationships. <clears throat> you can blind go blindly on Facebook Story. And don't forget, you can actually go live on Facebook Story as well. So the beautiful thing with your Facebook story is that obviously you can see exactly who's interacting with you, what's going on. You can see who's watching you. The same as when you do a Facebook party, you can see who's watching you when you can't, when you're doing a Facebook Live. And think about it, right? Facebook Lives are the most powerful thing we can do. But when we do a Facebook Live, unless we put it as a watch party, which unfortunately after the watch party has finished, the person's actually got to go and click on the watch party to see it go again. You haven't got that with Facebook Story. You can do your live off Facebook Story, and then you still see who's actually read it, who's done what. Your Facebook Story at the moment is the most powerful tool on Facebook. And that's why I've jumped all over it, because I know it's the most powerful tool. And I know if you, when you use it correctly, it will bring an awful lot of traction to you. I understand that this Zoom has, is very basic and I've stripped it back to basics. But the reason why I've stripped it back to basics is that I've heard a few people saying to me, I can't get anywhere, this is not working for me right now. And this is when I said that I was gonna be a bit blunt with this, and this is what I mean by being blunt. The reason why this is not working is because too, too many people are spamming the wrong way. They're looking at it like, yeah, I can literally just spam my whole Facebook. No, you don't wanna spam your whole Facebook. Those that you know you can get away with. Those that you don't, you can't. You would not walk up to a stranger on the street and said, well, do you like to travel? You just wouldn't. So why would you do it on Facebook? People think that because it's social media and, and we're sitting here, you know, and we're behind a keyboard, that we can just do something we wouldn't normally do in real life. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. At the end of the day, there's a human being at the end of that phone. There's a human being at the end of that computer. And that's what we need to do. We need to reconnect. The more we connect, the more we will build. So use your Facebook story to blast it with if you know them. If you don't know them to that well, just go in with a couple of sentences and then go, you know, what interests you about my Facebook story today? Did you like it? 
Is there anything that anyone else wants me to talk about before we go and I show you the new marketing material that's come in? Because why not? Are you all good to go? Does everything I, make I've sense? Got just one little tiny thing, and it's something that I've mentioned to my team quite recently. We've got an advantage here because there's so many networks that are doing exactly what you shouldn't do, such as spamming, such as covering their Facebook timeline with advert after advert. It does not work. Network marketing goes through different stages and different things. When social media first came out, spamming worked and it got people big organizations. That does not work now. People do not want it. And we can stand out in this because we are doing things in the right way. We're attracting the people that want to get involved in travel. We're helping them see exactly how it's going to benefit them. And we're not needing to spam one bit. And that's how we will stand out. So even if you get a no, as long as you're positive in the way you end that conversation, as in, that's absolutely fine. If it's ever something you want to look at again in the future, please get in touch and bear me in mind for your future travel, that kind of thing. If you're ending a conversation on such a positive note, they will remember you because you're not blocking them. They yeah. will remember you. In six months' time, you don't know what they're going to be up to. They might want to join a travel company, travel membership club. You don't know, and it's not your place to judge that, but keep that open and be professional, and that's all I wanted to say. <laughs> what I'd also well, thank you very much for that, Paula. What I'd also say to you is that when you actually um, speak to somebody and you offer them the travel business, and they go, "No, I'm not interested right now," this is your response. The company's moving really fast, and there's a lot of changes. Would you mind if I contact you in a month's time just to update you on the changes that have occurred? Because remember, no's not no. And so what Paul is saying, you know, make sure that we're polite, make sure that, you know, that people feel, you know, that they can come back to us at any given time that they choose to do so. Right. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you the marketing because unless there's anything else you want me to speak to you right now. Yeah, George, that's fine. I can do that for you. It's not a problem. And is there anything else? Does everybody who's on this right now understand how to use my story? If somebody don't, can you just say now, please? Okay, cool. Yes, yeah, right, okay. Honestly, it's the most powerful thing. And also on top of that, if you're really stretched for time, go on my story. Boom, 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 boom. The quickest way to connect with people. And the thing about it is, because my story is so new, when you connect with someone with my story, I think, wow. So start loving them, start liking them. You know, seriously, that is going to be your best way to start really interacting with people. And make sure you put something up on my story every single day. Don't forget to do it. Make sure you do it every single day because you've got 24 hours to show people how special you are. Right, okay, this is what you've really come on for because I know you all want to see the marketing. None of you really want to see what I have to say. So here we go. Imagine. You were being granted a dream vacation, and you could go anywhere you wanted to in the world for as little as $2.71 per day. Yes, $2.71 per day. Where would you go? Florida? Colorado? Virgin Islands? South America? Europe? Asia? Africa? What would you do? Relax? Play in the snow? Golf? Explore? Hike? Play in the water? So perhaps the better question is, what's stopping you? Why aren't you living your dreams? Perhaps because no one has offered you accommodations for under $2.71 per day. At least, not until now. Welcome to P2S Travel, a radical new idea in travel. 
and our vacation program was designed to help anyone, anywhere, and on any budget, get more out of life. We can help you take a dream vacation every six months, and you can even earn free vacations. So how does it work? P2S Travel has negotiated to buy massive numbers of weeks in advance at resorts, enabling us to get the inventory for a fraction of the normal price. Next, we put together a vacation program where every dollar you spend earns you $2 in travel points. And these points can be applied toward a dream vacation every six months. So if you spend $125, P2S Travel will match you and put $250 in travel points in your dreamcation account. Now imagine if your local bank did that. It's like doubling your money, or in our case, traveling for 50% off our already great rates. And you can apply these points toward any of the thousands of resorts found in our dreamcation portal. So let's take a quick trip around the world and explore how life can be just six months from now. Let's assume you were looking to get away for some fun in the sun. Why not Las Vegas, Nevada? Here we have a multitude of beautiful resorts with swimming pools and hot rubs that place you in the heart of the Vegas action. And after exchanging your platinum travel points, you can book a studio starting at $2.71 per night. That's just $19 plus taxes and fees for seven nights and eight days. You can book a one bedroom starting at $5.57 per night. That's just $39 for seven nights and eight days. Or book a two bedroom starting at $8.43 per night. That's just $59 plus taxes and fees after exchanging your Dreamcation Platinum points. It's just that simple. There are no presentation requirements or anything of that nature. Just good old fashioned fun at a rate anyone can afford. Thinking of Fiji? Here we have multiple resorts to choose from, giving you access to the vibrant crystal blue waters of the South Pacific Sea with its white sandy beaches, lush paradise, and flowing rivers. So whether you are jet skiing, snorkeling, scuba diving, or just hanging by the pool, you can access two bedrooms with a full kitchen in paradise for $8.43 per night after exchanging your platinum points. Want to ski in Switzerland? We have multiple resorts that put you in the heart of the Swiss Alps, placing the thrill of alpine skiing right outside your front door. You will also revel in the spectacular views of the mountains while relaxing in this cozy Swiss retreat. Many of these resorts can sleep four people with a full kitchen, and it's only $5.57 per night with our platinum program. That's just $39 plus taxes and fees for eight days and seven nights. How would you like to play at the largest water park resort in all of South America? Welcome to Brazil, where fun and nature meet. Here, the whole family can play on the water slides, surf in the wave pool, or just float the day away in the lazy river. You can enjoy this oasis of fun for $14 per day with our platinum program. That's seven nights and eight days for $99 after trading in your platinum points. Want to see the pyramids of Egypt? We have multiple resorts throughout Egypt that can put you at amazing beaches along the shore, while others can place you right in the heart of Cairo, where you can explore the Nile River, the Opera House, the Egyptian Museum, shopping, and of course one of the seven wonders of the world, the Pyramids of Egypt. Two bedrooms that sleep six people start at just $8.43 per night after exchanging in your platform points. And these are just a few of thousands of dreamcations you and your family can experience all over the world. Where else have you dreamed of going? Africa? Australia? Canada? The Canary Islands? The Caribbean? Mexico? England? France? Spain? Latin America? Japan? China? If you can dream it, we can book it. And this is just the beginning of how we can help you and your loved ones get more out of life. So get back with the person who invited you to see this video and find out how you can start living the dreamcation life starting today. What do you think to that, guys? Do you think that's going to make a massive difference to us marketing this business? 
Take yourself all, unmute yourself, a whole lot. One go, go on. That's a lot more professional, isn't it? Yeah. It looks a lot better. I loved it. That, that, that's what we need. We need exactly that. No mess about. Yeah, we need to be as slick a professional as possible. It's, it's like I was explaining to someone the other day. You can have two products in a shop. One of them can be really shiny and the other one can be full of tat. But they've got the same ingredients. Which one are you going to pick up? You're going to pick the shiny object up. You're not going to pick the tat one up. And that's why we need what we've got coming. That's going to be with us <coughs> very, very, very shortly. Um, there is a few mistakes on it. Yes, you're right. There, there is a few mistakes on it, um, Kevin. There is. And that's why it's not come out for corporate yet. As soon as the, the mistakes are remedied, we will be using that and we will go with that. They, if they bring it down in a Vimo, believe me, I'll change it to an MP4. I will change it so we can get it out and get it across however we need to get it across whatever platform. I'll stick it in YouTube, I'll stick it in MP4. So therefore, if Facebook has been a pain in the proverbial, you've got both ways to send it. So there's no reason for us not to plow forward and get this job done. It's 10 o'clock at night. We've been on this Zoom for an hour. And I really appreciate every single one of you that's come up here tonight and come on here to have a chat. It's been a very basic one. But I've done it basically so that therefore you guys do know that, yeah, if you want to do the three-step system, that's fine. You don't have to do it that way. You can do it the way that some of us network. And that's how I network. It's how Paula networks. It's how Nicola networks. So, you know, if you guys want to mix it up, mix it up. But let's start getting a few more people on board with the company because... There is no reason for anybody to be paying through the nose when we've got such an amazing platform. So with that said, I'm going to end this and I'm going to go to bed. I'm tired. So thank you so much, guys. All right. And Good night, Sam. <coughs> I will do another training on Wednesday. Just ask me for what you want and we'll move forward with it. I'll speak to the mastermind team if, you know, it's anything they feel that we need to move forward with, and that's exactly what we're going to be doing. We need to start being a lot stronger as a team, and we need to start building the game. Defo, yeah. I'm on it. Well, at the end of the day, right, <laughs> this is your business. It's not anybody else's. Yeah. So if you fail in it, it's going to be your so responsibility. Cool. Yeah. I know yeah, that's harsh, but that's, that's, that is the fact it's of it, true. guys. It's true. All right, then. No worries. Right. Well, I will see you all tomorrow morning when I come back online. I'll speak to you later. All right. Good night, babe. All right. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.